Hurricane Isabel, as I say, started off as Cat 5, but she went down very suddenly to a Category 2 just 24 hours before landfall. And this was not very well predicted. Uh, and matter of fact, when Hurricane Isabel spun down, the diameter of the storm expanded greatly. So it was kind of a collapse of the vortex. And uh, although this was good that the wind speed went down, the, winds, the strong winds were projected over a much broader area. And that's why so many in the mid-Atlantic lost power from this enormous storm as it went up through Virginia and Maryland. There are many forces that conspire to weaken the storm. As the storm moves towards higher latitudes, of course, the storm encounters colder water temperatures, less evaporation, less fuel. I think you get that picture by now. Certainly, as the storm approaches the United States and the jet stream coming out of the western part, uh, there's more wind shear that the storm encounters. So the wind speeds pick up in intensity, and so the storm gets ripped apart. Also, the other thing you have to consider is that when the storm sits over a landmass such as the United States, there's a lot of dry air here, and the dry air can get pulled off the continent into the United States.